Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw by the title, I'm going to be showing you 50 college essentials that you need. I am currently a junior. I went to the University of Hartford for my freshman and sophomore year, and now I'm transferring to Castleton, which is a university in Vermont. And so this list is everything that I've learned that I really need and is very essential for college. And also in between there, I'll throw in some things that you don't really need. So without further ado, let's get started. I also wanted to just throw in a little side note. If you guys saw last week, I did post a part one of a week vlog for some reason long story short the second half of that vlog the file like got corrupt or didn't work or something so I can't upload part two unfortunately which sucks because it took me so long to edit that okay let's get started so if you guys see me looking over here it's just because I have the list on my computer because it is pretty long so number one is a bed mattress or the foam mattress pad in college you're going to get like this wooden bunk bed I'm going off of my experience and what I've seen from most colleges but you're gonna get a like wooden kind of bed that you can raise up or raise down and you get a twin extra large mattress so the mattress is literally like this big it's not like super comfy I mean if you were to sleep on it it's fine I know plenty of people who went to college with including my boyfriend that just slept on that but I did end up buying this like thick memory foam like really comfortable I think it was like three inch like mattress pad that went on top that made it so much more comfortable so I definitely recommend that I will have all this stuff linked down below number two is bedding this is like a fitted sheet a pullover sheet a big comforter over the top and one thing that I've noticed is everybody always says that you should bring like two sets you don't need two sets my entire freshman year sophomore year I was online because of COVID but my entire freshman year I use one set and in the morning I would take it off and wash it and then when I got back from classes in between dry it and put it on my bed the third college essential is extra blankets and you can also display blankets really cute in like a little woven like wooden basket or you can just throw them on your bed but extra blankets because in college if you're like a social bug like me you're gonna have a ton of sleepovers you're gonna be like running to other people's rooms and hanging out watching movies all that and you're gonna want a little blanket or to give your friends blankets if they like make like a bed on the floor if they sleep in your bed with you number four is storage bins I can't express enough to you how essential storage bins are these could be anything from the little material bins which I use but I also use like plastic bins from Walmart even inside of your drawers you can put little storage bins to help keep everything organized number five is printer stapler etc unless your school provides it so so this is basically just a bunch of like little stuff like paper clips like I said stapler tape all that so my freshman year at the University of Hartford you had to pay to go print out stuff in the library so me and my roommate had our own printer so that's really handy it is a little bit expensive me and my roommate split it but the new college that I'm going to for my junior and senior year they offer printing for free so I don't need to get my own and I don't really use paper clips or anything but one thing that I did use a lot was tape for like hanging things on the walls because you can't put holes or anything Anything or peel the paint or all that which we'll get into later but tape for hanging things tape for like projects and especially staplers number six is a TV this is not a necessity but it is something that came in handy a lot especially when I had friends over who wanted to just hang out and watch movies also if you're doing any long distance relationships or even have like a friend that's really far away and happens to play a sport my boyfriend played football so a lot of times I would like broadcast his games on my TV because they normally did them live then I could watch in my room. Number seven is a laundry bin. Of course, this is a essential because a lot of times you're going to be bringing all your clothes from your dorm room to the washer and dryer. I always recommend a laundry bin with a clothes cover just for more privacy. So if you just have it laying in your room and you have like underwear or bra or something on the top, people walking in aren't gonna see it. So I recommend a clothes cover. I think I got mine from Amazon. Number eight is a rug. A big area rug for your dorm room is a huge essential it definitely makes the room feel a little bit more cozy you don't have to be stepping on this like dirty like floor all the time and also when tile floors get dirty you can feel it under your feet a lot more than if you're standing on a carpet I also recommend putting a little carpet either right in front of your door or right outside of it just to help with tracking and dirt because you're gonna be coming in and out from going to your classes and your friends and stuff in and out getting food all the time all that so I recommend having just like a little floor mat right outside or right inside your front door and then a big area rug inside number nine is a stool if you are planning on putting your bed at one of the highest settings so you have way more storage underneath like putting your fridge or something under there or more storage bins like I talked about earlier you're gonna want a stool especially if you're a short little gal like me I'm actually not that short I'm 5'5 five five and I still had issues getting onto it but just buy like a cheap stool I think mine was from a Walmart that helped so much just getting up onto my bed like I know it sounds crazy it's just a little tiny stool 
but it helps so much because when you put your bed all the way up, it is high in the air. Number 10 is a robe. So this is a huge necessity, especially if you're gonna be walking down the hallway to like public showers, it's because you're gonna wanna either change in the bathroom, which can be kind of like gross, I don't really like that. So you're gonna wanna put on your robe and walk back. Also, if you're just like walking around your room and you can just throw on a robe if you're cold or something, it's a huge essential. Number 11 is a shower caddy. This is probably one of the most important essentials. And if you don't know what a shower caddy is, it's just just this like little waterproof bin with like drain holes that you can put your shampoo, body wash, conditioner to take to the shower with you. This was just like a huge plus to have because I always just left everything right in my shower caddy and I'd walk to the bathroom and walk back and set it on the floor. Number 12, going along with your shower caddies, you wanna make sure that you have shampoo, body wash, conditioner, shavers, all the essentials, toothbrush, toothpaste. Number 13 is shower shoes. There's gonna be a lot of people showering in those showers. So you're gonna want shower shoes, one pair that you dedicate to just walking to the bathroom, showering in and coming back. I know that I've always just bought a really cheap pair of flip flops, but Actually, when I went shopping for my freshman year of college, I went to Target and they make flip-flops with holes in them, which who would have known the simplest thing is like a lifesaver. So I don't know if Target still carries those flip-flops. Like I said, I bought them like two, two or three years ago, but they're a huge lifesaver. I'm sure you can find them on Amazon or something. Number 14 is a lamp. This is a huge essential for college, especially if you're gonna be staying up late and working on projects or homework or something, or just hanging out while your roommate's trying to sleep. You don't wanna turn on the main light. You just wanna have a little lamp for your own little area. Number 15 is a vacuum. So I know a lot of people for freshmen going into college, they buy the little handheld vacuums, which is what I did. I thought that I would love it and I actually hate it. I hate that little freaking vacuum. So this year going into my junior year, I am buying like a full size vacuum. So I will link the cheap vacuum that I'm getting down below. I found it on Amazon. It's a full size vacuum. It is Abyssal, I believe, which is a really good brand and it was a really cheap one. So get a full size vacuum, just do it. Next, number 16 is a Swiffer Sweeper. I love my Swiffer Sweepers. We have a ton at work. They have so many different like attachments and smells and scents and different floor types and all that. But get a Swiffer Sweeper. Again, they are cheap. They're really easy. Another thing is if you're going to be in a suite, which I'm planning on being in a suite this year at my new university, we're gonna have an entire living room and bathroom to ourselves. So definitely gonna use the vacuum and the Swiffer Sweeper to clean the bigger areas. Number 17 is a mini fridge. This is a huge necessity, especially if you're gonna have snacks in your room. I recommend doing the bigger freezer. There's just a lot more room. 18 is a microwave. You're gonna wanna microwave so much food. It's just easier. Sometimes you're not gonna wanna get up and walk all the way to the food court. You're just gonna wanna make like some cup and soup or a hot pocket or heat up a drink or something. With the microwave, I recommend splitting it because they are a little bit pricey. So just split the cost with your roommate or what I'm doing with my roommate is she is buying the microwave and I'm buying all the cleaning stuff like the vacuum, the Swiffer Sweeper, all that for our room. Number 19 is silverware, bowls, plates, cups, to-go cups, all that. Only a couple, you only need like two bowls, two plates, two cups, like couple forks, spoons, and knives. You don't need a ton. That's just so if you do make food in your own room, you have the stuff to either put it in a bowl or eat it with the fork or spoon or whatever. So you don't have to go all the way to the food court. Number 20 is a Brita filter. This is great. So you don't have to always walk down the hall to go fill up your water bottle or drink tap water. These are relatively cheap. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks. I think I got mine from Target, but Walmart also has them. You can find them on Amazon. We have one here at work and I love it. It's right there. Number 21 is a water bottle, hydro flask, just like a regular one that you can reuse. Just because you're not gonna be having probably a ton of income while you're in college, so you don't wanna be buying bottles of water all the time. So just grab a reusable one that you can fill up with your Brita. Number 22, a can opener. This is a really like little one that I feel like people don't think about, but if you wanna bring like canned ravioli, but if you want ravioli or a soup or something, Number 23, a mini trash can and trash bags to go with it. Most universities will offer a dumpster that you can go and throw your trash away. You're gonna have trash. If you wanna keep your room clean, get a trash can with some trash bags. Oh, and I don't think it's on the list, but air fresheners like for your room because I know you can't have candles in most colleges. I will link my favorite ones down below. Number 24 is a planner. This is a huge essential. I use this even when I'm not in college. Literally just a planner with big sections where I can write all my due dates, all my homework days and projects coming up and class times and work and all that. I literally love my planner so much. I check it every single morning. I write everything in it just so 
I can remember everything. It's just a huge lifesaver. Number 25 is a big whiteboard with days of the week and obviously markers to go with it. This has been a huge essential and I didn't realize I needed it until a couple months into my freshman year. So basically I got on Amazon. It's just a big whiteboard. It has all the days of the week and I would write Monday, this is what I need to do today. Tuesday, this is what I need to do today. Number 26 is double-sided tape. So I know I talked about this earlier, but if you're gonna be hanging things on your wall, double-sided tape is a really easy way and faster way instead of doing the little loops with the one-sided tape. Along with double-sided tape for hanging things, command hooks and command strips. This is a huge, huge necessity. I had these all over my room. I used command strips to hang up my whiteboard, to hang up like decorations that were a little bit heavier. I had a hook right by my door for my towel. Number 28 is like I was saying, I always hung my towels on my command hooks. You're gonna want towels, base towels and all that. Number 29 is hangers. Most colleges offer somewhere where you can put your clothes on hangers. So make sure you bring lots of hangers so you can keep everything organized and neat and looking fresh. Number 30, if you're gonna do laundry, you're gonna need laundry detergent. Most schools don't offer it, so make sure you pack laundry detergent. Number 30 is notebooks, binders, flashcards, lined paper, pens, just stuff that you need for class, especially flashcards. Number 32 is a laptop like I have here. Mine is just a MacBook. I don't know which one I have, but this is her and it comes in handy so much. So make sure you bring a laptop. If you don't have a laptop for college, maybe get like an iPad that has the little keyboard on it, but you're definitely going to need that. You can use the computers and stuff in the library if your school offers that but I always recommend having your own laptop so you can just sit in your room and do your own work or if there's no computers available, you always have your own. So along with that, I forget what the name is. It's like an, ex it's not an extension cord, but it's like that long thing that has all the plugs in it, but you're gonna want a couple of those. I know that I had a couple of them and my boyfriend stole a couple of them because we both realized how much we needed them. Number 34 is cleaning products, especially with this whole pandemic. I think everybody has just turned into a clean freak. I know I have. Also, when you're in college and you have a bunch of people living on the same floor what usually happens and I think that there's like a name for it because it happens so often but when one person gets sick the whole floor or the whole building gets sick number 35 is an umbrella this came in handy so much especially when it was pouring out and I had to walk to class because they were relatively far away at my old university and I think that at my new university they're still far away I'm gonna be in the rain. You're gonna want an umbrella. I mean, unless you don't want to and you just wanna walk in the rain. 36 is decorations. I honestly think decorations are an essential just for making your room feel a little bit more cozy and at home. Number 37 is a coffee pot with coffee filters. So this isn't an like extreme essential, but in the morning, if you don't wanna to walk to the food court, which normally I did every morning because I wanted breakfast, but let's say you come back from class and you want another cup of coffee or during the day or something and you don't wanna walk there, you should have your own little coffee pot. I know that this year my roommate is getting a Keurig, so we're gonna have our own little thing, but you can also get the mini ones with the little mini filters. And it's really not that expensive for a little tiny coffee pot and some coffee grinds. So I always recommend getting one of those because you're going to be tired. Number 38, this is a huge essential, which is medicine. Now this isn't just your prescription medicine, but it's everything from melatonin to Pepto-Bismol to Dayquil, NyQuil, Ibuprofen, a whole bunch of things just because you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, also cough drops and Tums are on my list too. Number 39, I think I already said this, but your toothbrush, toothpaste, flossers, mouthwash, just bring all that stuff. Number 40 is nail clippers, nail files, hairbrush, Q-tips is a big one. You never know if you're gonna have a hangnail or a broken nail or something you gotta clip off. Also bringing some makeup, some nail polish, just some fun stuff to do with the girls if you're bored. I mean, or the guys too. Number 41 is clothes and of course this is a very like duh like moment but bring clothes for every season even if you're going like away for one season i say this because you never know what situation you're gonna walk into so that was 42 was the party clothes and the party shoes number 43 is a to-go mug i might have said this before but you're gonna want a to-go mug if you want to bring coffee to class or orange juice or if you want to make your own drink and bring it to parties just to be safe bring a to-go mug 44 a backpack or a big like side bag like an over-the-shoulder kind of like tote bag this comes in handy obviously because you're gonna be going to class and everything. So you're gonna to wanna to keep your binders and planners, computers and all that in there or in your side bag. But also if you're going to parties and you wanna bring stuff, you can just carry it in a backpack. Number 45, if you are planning on working out, I would bring workout gear. 46 is AirPods or headphones or something. This is if you're walking to class, you wanna put in music. If your roommate is doing homework or studying or something and you wanna to listen to music, put in your headphones. Also, if you're gonna work out, 
put in your headphones. Number 47 is an alarm clock, unless you have your phone which you can set alarms on. Make sure you have some sort of alarm clock because you don't want to miss your classes, I promise. It will add so much more stress to you and you'll get so behind because so much happens in your classes. Just bring an alarm clock if you have no way of setting alarms. Number 48 is a full length mirror as well as a little mirror for your makeup. Number 49 is extra money. So I say this because you're gonna want to buy extra cleaning stuff if you run out like trash bags, sanitizer, shower stuff like shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, laundry detergent. I don't know if you wanna go out and get food or something on campus. Just bring a little bit extra money. Obviously, most things are provided in college. That's what our tuition is for. And number 50, the biggest essential is snacks. I think I said this before. Just bring a ton of snacks, like I said, hot pockets, frozen like bagel bites, um, cup of soup, fruit, yogurt, cheesy crackers, just bring snacks. So that is 50 essentials that you're gonna need for college. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, make sure you subscribe. I post new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.